Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, I love doing vlogs. I don't know if many people watch them. I think sometimes they do. But like, for example, when I've been vlogging me in the camper van and stuff, like for me being able to look back on that day or like that trip is absolutely amazing. So I'm just gonna keep vlogging. I'm gonna just throw a vlog in every now and then. And I'm sure it will pick up. I'm sure you all will eventually like to watch them because I like to film them, so. They're staying, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, so today I'm just going to be doing a little vlog of my day. Um, we are still in lockdown, um, but we've got a couple of exciting things planned. It's like not actually exciting, but like exciting compared to what we've usually been doing, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, it's like 8am now. We are going to go for a little walk, get a little coffee. Got our face mask at the ready. Um... You don't have to wear face masks outside until Monday and then it's mandatory to wear them outside all the time. So you probably won't see me with face masks on today. But if you are Australian and you're looking back on it, don't worry. Like, I'm not breaking the rules. It's Monday that that comes into play. So don't have a go at me, please. But yes, so you're going to come with us today and it's going to be a fun day for all. So we've got our coffees from Sonoma. Honestly, it's... Oh, God, it's very... It's such a nice place. Um, and we're just off on a walk by Bondi Beach. It's literally so grey today. Typical, the day that I vlog it's grey because it's been pure sunshine all week. Um, so yeah, it's so quiet obviously because everyone's in lockdown so you can only come out for a walk. But it actually gets super busy during the day because it's such a beautiful place to walk so everybody comes here basically. Right. This is the famous Bondi Boardwalk. And we have all like the really cool memor memorials, what are they called? Oh, <coughs> Murals. Yeah. Artwork. All along. And it runs all the way along. It's so bumpy, I need a little gimbal. So we're just going to walk all the way along. Across, over, to there. So this is an overview of Bondi Beach. And like, it looks still looks so pretty. But I don't know if you can see it, but it's like pinky and purpley in the distance. It's just so, so nice. You don't really see that unless you get up at sunrise. So yeah, lots of surfers out. Down there is where everybody does like yoga and stuff. Oh, hello. <laughs> She's got on top of him. So yeah, we're just gonna enjoy our coffee here for a little bit. And down there, down those steps is the icebergs, but unfortunately they've drained them because obviously you can't go, you can't use them whilst in lockdown but hopefully by summer we'll be able to use them again. Put you right next to a full on window that's open, so this is very risky of me. But we're back home now, it's like half nine. I'm just making some breakfast. I've been obsessed with having the same breakfast like all the time recently. It's literally chopped up apples like, in a little bit of water so that it just softens them and then they get crunchy. A little yogurt protein yogurt and then some um like peanut butter on the side with walnuts i am obsessed with it anyway i'm gonna have some breakfast and then i'm gonna do some like a little bit of a workout weights it's just not the same is it like it's just not the same as being in the gym but i guess like something is better than nothing um and then and then at midday we've hired a car next door um it's basically this app not sponsored or anything my friend told me about it the other day and I just signed up for it. Um, this is an app where you can hire cars in your area, like locally. So we've hired a car today from 12 till four. So we're gonna go to Centennial Park, which is in Sydney. Um, it's just gonna be like a really nice change of scenery. We're not allowed to leave our five kilometer radius, but it's fine because Centennial Park isn't longer than five kilometers and we don't have a car so it's just gonna actually be so nice to have like a tiny little bit of extra freedom but like not breaking any of the rules at the same time um so yeah and honestly i don't know if they do it in every country but it's so so cheap it was like five pounds five dollars fifty an hour so you do the maths we paid like we paid like some, like plus the booking fee or whatever we paid like thirty dollars so it's so good um it just gives you a little bit of extra freedom. But now I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. So I'll see you when I'm probably and hopefully looking a little bit more attractive with some makeup on. This is what my breakfast looks like. It looks like I've thrown it all together because I absolutely have apples, wal walnuts, peanut butter, cheese seeds, and then underneath all of it is chocolate. 
but honestly it's delicious it's so so delicious and i'm pretty sure it's quite healthy for you obviously the peanut butter is not that good but it's high in protein so who cares <laughs> hello <laughs> i have had a, i've done my workout i had a shower and i'm just getting ready so i straighten my hair i'm just smothering my face in spf because um if you've watched a lot of my some of my other videos of rosacea i literally swear by like i will religiously wear spf now for the rest of my life like um unfortunately i've only just started well no i've been using it for about a year now but honestly one tip to you guys why SPF? Even if you don't live in Australia, I feel like what I learned from like skincare and like skin damage when I first got rosacea has shocked me. So I will always wear, I wear this one, the La Roche, because it's factor 50 plus and it's really lightweight and it's not oily either. So I've got oily skin, so it works like perfectly for me. Um, and yeah, skin damage makes you look older, so. Hopefully I will look youthful for longer. A little tip from me to you. <laughs> One sec. Okay, so we've just picked up the car from Car Next Door. It's literally such a good little thing. It's all done by the app. They give you a code and then they have like this lock box which contains the key on it. And then you just get it out. Like you take loads of photos to prove like what the car of the condition, oh my God, what the condition of the car is like beforehand. And then that's it. So we've just picked it up and we've just driven to Centennial Park. So I'll show you around Centennial because it is beautiful and the weather's really nice now. So, you know, positive lockdown vibes. I love it. So this is the entrance to Centennial Park. It's absolutely huge um usually we would get like bikes to drive around but i feel like we just need to get our steps up today but yeah it's stunning there's little cafes like dotted around so yeah we'll just go on a bit of a walk and hopefully go to the rose garden it's honestly huge though so i don't know if we can walk all the way there <laughs> so one of the little restaurants is open so we've just got some food we're just sitting down in the park and eating it well, I am. Tom's is taking forever. <laughs> I just got a little juice, um, it's like ginger, orange and something, and then a little toasty sandwich. And then just sitting down here. And then we'll go for a walk. After we've eaten. So this is Centennial Park for anybody who doesn't know what it looks like, um, but is going to come here, basically. It's huge. There's a lake over there. There's rose gardens. There's always loads of swans. Uh, and there's different parts as well. There's a racing track. Um, and then there's restaurants usually. Um, yeah. And it's just beautiful. Like it's literally just a beautiful park. And it has like palm trees all over the place as well. So it just really feels like you're on holiday. Even though I've lived here for a year and a half now, I still feel like I'm on holiday. So. It gives me that vibe. If there's anyone Australian watching this or anyone who's really into trees, can you just confirm if they are actually palm trees? These ones, these ones, because they are, they look like palm trees, but I don't know, the top, the top bit just looks a bit shorter. Turned into a little tree video there, sorry about that. <laughs> We are back home from our travels now. We went to Bondi Junction, we drove the car, uh, to the English convenience store. My mouth is literally watering. Because in the English convenience store, you can buy things that you can get in England, but you can't get in Australia. So we got some Galaxy and then I got some Munchies. Um, and now I'm just gonna paint my nails and we're gonna watch an episode of Dr. Death because I'm very much into that at the moment. And then I think we're gonna to go to the beach and watch sunset. So um, I'll show you that. Hopefully it's pretty, it's a pretty sunset. But I'm very proud because I've done the 12,000 steps today already. Also just to add, it was super, super easy to return the car. Literally just like you take loads of photos, put it in the key box and then you're done. 
this is like such an amazing invention. I don't know if it's um, like, if it's just an Australian thing or if it's everywhere, but it's so good and it's so handy during lockdown. So I feel like we're gonna do it like one day a week. Very chuffed about that. So we've just walked to North Bondi to see the sunset. The ocean up there is actually so rammed. But look how many people there are. But I can't really say anything because we're doing exactly the same. And we're all outside, so it's fine. It's just so pretty. Stunning. A <laughs> dog's just lost its ball. <laughs> Very sad story because he's not. He doesn't want to get wet and go and get it. We are back home now from um, watching Sunset at the Beach, which was very nice. Um, gonna watch some Love Island, Doctor Death. I've just eaten some Galaxy, and then make some dinner. We went to Woolies, got some stuff, the spaghetti bolognese. Six o'clock now, and we're just chilling with Love Island. I look like I've not moved from the last clip, but I actually have. Had a shower, I've had my dinner, and now we are sitting down and watching James Bond. Because it was like the first time that I watched James Bond the other day, um, and I never watched it before. So yeah, we're just, um, we're done. This is gonna be the end of the video. Um, thanks very much for watching. I hope it was a, I don't know if it was an interesting video, but like I said at the beginning, I like making vlogs so I can look back on them. Um, so yeah. If you have made it this far, thank you for sticking with me. Um, and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye.